Hola chicos, we'll have a quick look at a song by Santi Mook. Uh, it's something like Besos Limonier Mail, something like that. So we have this nice guitar going throughout the whole song. It's just basically uh, the chord shape which he played in the video and that's basically the whole song. So no capo needed. Uh, standard tuning, that's the main thing. So we'll be dealing with three chord progression for the song in total. And I'll be breaking down the whole song, though I can't spell or sing the lyrics properly, but still I'll try my level best. So let's move on to the first riff. I'll show you guys everything with the tab before that, the right hand. I'm using my thumb to hit the top three strings, which includes the E, A, D. Index for the G string, middle finger for the B string, ring finger for the high E string. You gotta keep that in mind. So once you have that in mind, now again you can go really random you can just use any of your fingers to pluck the notes like i personally like to use adg like when you pluck adg i like to use thumb index middle for this song so you can just go on any preference right so the song starts off like this with this chord shape now don't follow the tab at the moment just don't follow the tab see what i'm doing so it's seven fret on the e string with the index middle finger on d8 ring finger on d9 and your middle finger is not on D8, it's on G8. I'm, I was sorry. So what you do is you do a small slap sound and then you just plug the note. Right? Now, this is one small variation which he does. So at the beginning of the chord, he plays the E major chord like this. But after that, throughout the whole song, he plays the E major 7 chord like this. Not a huge difference, just about one note. So the first time we'll be playing it like this. But after that, um, what happens is we play this shape. So I hope I'm clear. Like first time we'll be doing this. And after that you just back to the normal shape, which is 7th fret on the E string, 6th uh, fret on the D string, pinky on the 8th fret of the G string. Beautiful major 7th shape. And now let's hop into the lesson. Uh, I pluck, I pluck A string. Then I plug D and G, then I slap, and then I plug the E string again, and then I have my index hitting the six frets of D and G. I'll plug them together. So we have boom, drag, lift off your pinky. So we have boom, drag, boom, drag, boom, boom, drag, boom, drag. Now second, <clears throat> second time what you do is you plug the ADG together, so you have 8th fret on the G string, 7th fret on the E string, 6th fret on the D string, ding, ding, and after that you just lift off your pinky and you have 8th, 6th fret on the G string, 6th fret on the D string, 7th fret on the E string, you pluck the ADG together, then a small mute, then again ADG. Now I know it's going pretty crazy, but you gotta follow the rhythm, what he does, so we have boom, ding, boom, ding, ding, ding. Notice that. So ding ding. So last time we just plugged DG and not ADG. So last time we played DG. Again, for the intro, instead of playing this chord, the first time we'll be playing this chord shape. Exact same way. And then you go back. So once you just plug that, you are back to the song. Then you go to this F, that, that was an E, now we go to F sharp minor, you have ring finger and your pinky finger on 9th fret of A and G, your index on D7. You will be following the exact same picking style. Plug the A string, D, G, slap, and then you have 8th fret on the G string, so lift off. And then you pluck A, D, G, then back to 9th fret on the G string, A, D, G, A, D, G twice, then back to A, D, G, then D, G. So if you notice, we have the same pattern. So make sure you practice the first chord and once you get it, I promise the whole song will be a piece of cake. So we have... And after that we move on to the next shape which looks like this. I have my middle finger on E7, top E7, my ring finger on D7, my pinky on G8, my index on G6. Yes, you heard it right, G6 and G8. I'll pluck. E, D, G together, I plug the E string, then D, G, G, then mute, then lift off your pinky, hit the 6th fret, I like it did before, so, 
zo. Bom, zeg, bom, zeg. Dan plak, irisi, irisi. Dan irisi. Dan digi. So the only change was changing the root note from the E string to the top E string. So we have. And then you go back to that E major chord. So. And that's basically the intro and after that it just goes on for the verse. So if I play it all together, the intro starts like this. Now we go to the verse, repeat the exact same thing. So we have. That was basically the verse. Uh, once you're done with that, we basically like finish up the word uh, bailando. That's what I do remember. And uh, once you, after that bailando word, we play like we go to the E major chord. Like the chord progression ends with the E. It starts off with the E. It end. It ends with the E. And after that, what you do is you play an E7 chord. It's seven fret on the E string. D6, seven on G, five on B. You strum the chord once. We can just plug A D C B. And then you go to a different chord progression. Now for this part, the chord progression starts off with A. So just follow the tab. You have 5th fret on the B, 6th fret on the G, 7th fret on the D, your thumb on E5. I'll pluck E, followed by DGB. Then again E, DGB. Then you go to A minor chord where you bar the whole 5th fret and nothing else. So you pluck E, followed by DGB. Then E, DGB. So once you're done with that A major and A minor chord, you now go on to move on to the next chord, which is a G sharp minor. So the A minor shape, just bring it one fret down, play it the same way. And once you're done with that, you bring the shape all the way down to this dot, this ninth fret. So everything is ninth fret, it's a C sharp minor chord. So do the exact same thing. And then when you're done with the C sharp minor chord, you go to a F sharp chord over here. Uh, so the B chord which you played will be doing the exact same thing over here. Now what I did over here is I have barring the whole second fret, third fret on the G string, fourth fret on the E string. I'm plucking E D G V E, then D G V, then E D G V. And after that I play the B7 chord. So same shape over here. Just follow the tab, and then I do this. So the E half diminished chord is played like this. We have the index on E7, my ring finger on D8, my middle finger on G7, and my pinky on B8. I'll strum that, and that's basically the more of like the pre-chorus part. So we just play the pre-chorus, and let's see how it sounds like. So once you finish up with the E7 chord, we move on to the pre-chorus. A minor, G sharp minor, G sharp minor, F sharp seven. Seven. Then you strum the dimin uh, half diminished chord, and then you just move on to the chorus. And over here, the chord progression will be E, this E, same thing which you did for the intro. I mean, for the verse and intro. And then you go to F sharp minor, and then instead of going to the B major chord, I do notice. Uh, it goes to an A major chord. It looks like this. We have 5th fret on the B string, 5th fret on the top E string, 6th fret on the G string, 7th fret on the D string. I'll plug the E, then D, G, B. And the second down, I'll plug E7, then D, G, B. So we have... So E, D, G, B, E, D, G, B, E, D, G, B, E, D, G, B. What is that? Tom does everything. Then back to E. So you gotta follow that pattern. So we got And after that you just move on to the verse and we have the same chord progression.
seven. Back to E. After that, the verse finishes. We have a sax solo. Like the saxophone goes on, and we play the exact same chord progression on it. And then again, the pre-chorus comes in. We'll go. Uh, we'll play uh, that E major, E minor, G sharp minor, G sharp minor, F sharp minor. I'm I'm sorry. F sharp seven. I'm really sorry. D7 and you end it with a diminished chord, half diminished, and then back to the chorus, which will be again E, F sharp minor, and then goes to our A major, A major with B on the bass, and then back to E. And guys, that's a whole song. So we got the verse, pre-chorus, chorus. The verse leads us to the sax solo, which is having the same chord progression of that of the verse, uh, the pre-chorus and chorus. And that's a whole song. So I hope the video helped you out. If you have any doubt, feel free to drop it down below. Follow the tab. This will take a bit of time because uh, it's not super easy, but it's not that hard. So you gotta practice and get it. That's basically everything. I'll see you guys back in the next video. Bye.